collective welcome to my platform thank you for watching as always i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families i <clears throat> i return to source I, someone in one, one day to come out i return to source i return to sender or negative energies and intent immediately and permanently anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as you speak all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Moti. I don't know. I think I might go back to my cards because I feel like I feel like it's hard for you all to see these cards. I don't know if you care about seeing the cards or not. Um, but I like the fact that you know the, these cards. The uh, these cards kind of blended in with the um, the art set up for me. You know, like it, it's an art piece. This whole thing is an art piece. Whereas the gold is not showing up like I wanted it to. And I honestly don't know how to fix that on my camera for it to show up like it's supposed to. I'm very, like I'm someone that's very visual. So it's, things don't look like good to me when it comes to art and like just you know just certain things if it doesn't look the right way it is a pet peeve for me so i think i might go back to my old cause and just not pay attention to the words somehow but anyways let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here that was a long and strange introduction intro <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. We have the nine of pentacles out here followed by a king of cups. So either someone is losing a lot of resources or they are uh, uh, separating from a privileged lady. Someone that used to be a privileged lady, but it's not going to be a privileged lady anymore. Someone could be losing a lot of finances as well. I'm going to do this reading in like a thing where I'm actually talking to the masculine because I think there's something where a masculine is not aware of what people are doing around him and he's going through some type of healing process and we need to help him with this. So sir, you're showing up here in the King of Cups energy. You may be separating from a feminine energy. Maybe this is someone you were married to, someone you um, were either in a long-term relationship with and this person was in privileged energy because of what you did. Maybe you were the breadwinner in the relationship and maybe this person didn't really do anything. Um, so someone may be falling from grace because of the fact that you are separating from them. This could be in future terms. Um, so you could be separating from this feminine energy and she does not want you to so she's been possibly paying people behind the scenes and things like that to encourage you to encourage you to stay in this relationship with her and to keep funding her lifestyle someone i don't think this is love i think there's some type of toxic dynamic between you and this woman or she just wants to wants you to stay so she can use you for your money, keep using you for your money, okay? For some of you, this is not a marriage. This is just someone you've been dating. And someone is very comfortable and has gotten acclimated to your way of living and they don't want you to leave. You two may have a lot of the same friends. You may be from the same community, things of that nature. So they have somehow managed to get this community to go up against you, but you don't know that they are. What it is they're doing is practicing their speeches to you, telling you why you should stay with her, that she's the better option and things of that nature. Lord, these comics are always so dedicated, so dedicated to ending people's futures and things like that for their own benefit. Your whoever this is to you could be paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement because I can see a lot of action cards here and then there's interference. So you have the magician out here which has to do with you taking your power back and moving forward, taking a new path. And the universe supports that path that you're taking. They're going to support you in whatever it is you're choosing to do as long as it's in alignment with what you are supposed to be doing. And then we have the Six of Wands out here, the Victory card, which also has to do with movement. 
action and things like that, right? And then we have the Wheel of Fortune out here, which can has to do with balance being brought into situations and things of that nature. Things moving in your favor as the wheel is moving around, oh, move, yeah, moving around, things of that nature. Balance is being brought into a situation, whether it's good karma, bad karma, balance is being brought into the situation. This can also have to do with sometimes you, you know, taking a flight, traveling somewhere, maybe to a different state, a different country, different continent, something of that nature, right? And then we have the Eight of Cups out here, which can also do with traveling, right? And this is not traveling that you do, like just, you know, you just impulsively decide you're going to do it. This is something that you plan. So you are either planning or we're planning to take some type of action, some type of flight, some type of travel, make some type of move, and someone interfere with it, and it was something that was planned. It's not something that was accidental. So that means that you are talking to people around you that you don't need to be talking to um, because there's no one around you that is a confidant. All of these people have ulterior motives. You're connected to some type of institution that wants to hold on to you because you're someone that's abundant, right? So they're going to discourage you from connecting with who you're supposed to connect with, right? Because it's beneficial for them to have you around. You could be someone very abundant and successful in life. And you, you're someone that maybe operates from your heart space. You have a lot of uh, dreams and things of that nature. You could be spiritually gifted as well. It's not even could. You are, you're spiritually gifted and you know how to balance that practicality and spirituality together. So you're someone extremely powerful and gifted and these people know that about you. Maybe you didn't know it. I don't know because I find it interesting that you have the magician here next to you and the higher friend below you, which means that you're gifted spiritually, but you have a fixed mindset because of the way you were born. I mean, raised. You were raised in a religious community uh you could come from a jewish background some type of catholic background there's something very religious you have some type of fixed mindset so you're going through some type of change some type of healing uh as per the universe's standards right you're going through an awakening because this fixed mindset is not very healthy for you it has led to a lot of endings for you especially when it comes to companionships partnerships business relationships and things of that nature because Oftentimes in these types of relationship, uh, relationships, yeah, between relationships, oftentimes in these types of relationships, partnerships, and institutions, they'll set limits, right? They'll set limitations for you with as far as who you can communicate with, who you can associate yourself with, um, what you can involve yourself with, what type of, types of activities you can involve yourself with, where you can go. And oftentimes, these limitations prevent you from experiencing life to its fullest, and you tend to grow up with some type of un unhealthy mindset where you've created a barrier between you and certain communities, you and certain people, you and certain experiences, but you don't know and realize that the people you've built these barriers between you and them or these experiences between you um, and them, they are there to help you. Cause, you, cause an awakening, cause some type of healing, help you experience life in a whole different and fulfilling way. So in a sense, your religious background is limiting you from experiencing life at its fullest. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. But whoever this feminine energy is that you are attached to is not healthy for you. This is someone that's just around you for their money, for your money. Uh, and when you leave, please see this card here. This is the nine, <clears throat> nine of pentacles in the reverse. That means that this woman is going to be falling from grace. She won't be the privileged lady anymore. She won't have access to your money anymore. She's going to be in the seven of pentacles, uncertain about the future, always waiting for the next check, the next money, something of that nature. This is why they don't want you leaving. They want you to stay because it's beneficial for them. Something about her mother or her family, 
they're in cahoots with her, right? They may come across like they support you. They want what's best for you and her, right? And what's best for you and her per them is you two staying together because they're benefiting from this relationship as well. You may provide these people with a lifestyle that's very much up there in the up team up. Um, <clears throat> And they want to keep that lifestyle. Your parents as well could be very fixed-minded, come from a religious background, and they don't want you leaving the community. They may think that wherever you're headed, whoever you're headed to is going to be an embarrassment for the community, for the family, but quite the country, contraire, mon fair, okay? You, what, you're, what you are being guided by spirit to do is to take charge of your life and move forward. And I think spirit has been telling you this. And I think you were taking action, making plans and things of that nature to move forward. But just know that there's someone around you that's interfering with your forward movement. They don't want you moving forward. This could be a best friend. This could be a mother figure. This could be this baby mama, ex-wife as girlfriend whatever this feminine energy is to you there are people around you that are blocking your forward movement in some way shape or form you could very well want to work with someone else it may not be romantic but they don't want you working with that person because they think that that person is not uh, uh, uh worthy of being in the social class that you are trying to put them or they don't think this person is the person you're meant to be with. And never in life should you ever let anyone tell you who you are meant to be with, what you are meant to do. We are all creators in our own lives. We are all gods in our own rights, right? We all come from source. So we have the right to create the reality realities that we want. So no one has a, a upper hand on over our lives to tell us what we can and cannot do or what's best and not best for us, all right? You're not a slave. You don't have a master. Even God is a of, of hands parent. He's not, I'm not, he, she, whatever you consider God to be. It's not controlling you and telling you, you can't go here, you can't go there. The source is very big on free will and letting you do what you want because at the end of the day, it's all about learning, experiencing the, uh, having all these different experiences basically in life. But you need to stand firm in your de decision. If you don't want any in interference in what it is that you want to do in the future, you need to stop talking to people around you about what you are planning to do. You need to keep your plans to yourself, all right? You cannot trust anyone around you because they all have ulterior motives. They want you trapped with this woman. They want you to stay with this woman. You two could have a child together for some of you, either a male child that's a little older, maybe uh, in anywhere from, let's say, 11 to maybe 14, 15 years old. You have some a child together, and they may be using this child against you for some of you masculines to keep you trapped in this union. They're going to tell you where you're going to be splitting your family up. It's important for little John John to see their parents together and have a family unit as they're growing up. It's very important for the family unit to stay together. They're trying to pull and play on your heartstring. And maybe this is something that's affected with you because of the fact that you're showing up in the King of Cups energy, but you're being guided by source to take action and move forward with your life. You can still be an amazing parent, just not while you are with the other person. You don't have to be with your spouse or your domestic partner to be a great parent to your child, okay? So take make note of that when they are playing on your emotions and things like that. This woman knows that you being with her is more beneficial to her than with you. Someone is very karmic. This woman you are with or whoever this is, whether this is a mother figure, this person is so karmic. Like she's exhausting and I don't even want to pull her energy. I don't want to look into it, but she's exhausting. She's tiresome. She's just, I can't. We're going to keep moving forward, please. But you need to fix that situation. I don't know if this is a mother figure you've never stood up to or this is a baby mama you've never stood up to, ex-wife, whatever it is. You need to stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself, okay? Um, so you're being guided to take charge of your life and move forward. You had some type of plan or you were supposed to come up with a plan. Maybe this is future terms that was that is going to ensure your victory. Let's say it as though it's in future terms. You have a 
you're going to come up with some type of plan that's going to enable you to overcome your enemies because you're going to be knowing now that they are up against you and trying to block your forward movement. So you need to be strategic about how you move forward in life. You trusted someone to provide some type of message to someone. They didn't give them that message, okay? Uh, or who, wherever the message was supposed to go, some type of interference took place. The message was blocked, okay? Uh, whatever trip you are going on, someone told someone, and this is because you talk a little bit too much. You tell all of your business. I don't know who this is that you talk to, but they're just there to listen to you so they can transfer the message to someone else and, and then it's transferred to the whole community so everyone knows where your plans are. So you're being told to shush with your plans, right? Whatever plans you have about traveling, moving, whatever it is, keep it to yourself, okay? Um, there was some type of new beginning you're supposed to be having. I think like a business partnership, work opportunity. This is going to help you take a little bit more charge of your life, give you control of your path and things like that, right? I think you were trying to help someone out, uh, whether it's a masculine energy you want to work with or a feminine energy you want to work with, you are trying to establish some type of connection with someone else, but there was interference. This new beginning here, people are trying to cause challenges in it for you. And these are people that you know. These are people you are acquainted with and things of that nature. Okay? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you're waiting. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if you're waiting on some type of financial payout, some type of abundance, whatever it is. Maybe you and this person are going through some type of divorce. Or maybe this feminine energy stole some money from you and you two are going through court about this. Something has something is not a secret anymore. It's being exposed, right? Whatever action this person took behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement or your finances or something like that, your relationships, things of that nature is being exposed, right? That this person was paying people behind the scenes to cause an ending, literally to cause some type of blockage from you and your new connection, your new prospect, whether that be in business or partnership from coming together. So whoever you've been with, whether it's this institution, whatever it is, this woman, your best friend, there's been some type of collaboration between all of these people. It's not just one person. It is a collaboration between all of these people to block this balance, right? this good karma from coming in your life because this was supposed to be justice for you and whoever you were connecting with, okay? Someone may have paid like a king of swords as well to do something in the background, like he was supposed to come and fix some type of love or something. Um, maybe you were friends with this king of swords and he betrayed your friendship, uh, things of that nature. But anyways, regardless of what these people have been doing, trying to cause endings and things like that, this ending was necessary. That's the funny thing about it. Everything they've been doing and is exposing them for who they are, it was absolutely necessary. You're still going to sail on to calmer waters after you make this trip, whether this trip is overseas, whether it's to another country, whether it's in another state, whatever it is, this trip that you are taking is going to uh, lead to some type of positive movement, positive action for you, healing and things like that. You definitely are going through some type of healing. The Eight of Cups has to do with healing your mind, getting in touch, in, getting in touch with your emotional side, right? So you're a King of Cups, but you have been rejecting the emotional side of you because you've been living in some type of abundant lifestyle style some type of superficial lifestyle and you were forced to go through an awakening so you could see the truth about the people around you, right? So that you can have this brand new passionate beginning in life, plant a new seed somewhere else with someone else or just in life overall. And this is helping you sail on to calmer waters. And we also know the Six of Swords has to do with healing, right? You've gone through a lot of betrayal and things of that nature, right? Endings, unnecessary endings by the hands of other people. I mean, it's necessary by the standards of the universe. This was divine intervention. I'm telling you, this was absolutely divine intervention. Everything that happened was meant to happen and it was happening, happening in divine timing, right? So nothing was accidental. Every action people took behind the scenes or in your face, which I doubt they took any action in your face, um, any type of sneaky action in your face, they did everything behind the scenes. 
everything they did was divine intervention it was meant to happen because this was going to lead to new birth for you and now you're going through uh healing you're sailing on moving on with your life while you're moving on everything these people did you're taking with you in your memory in your heart your heart broken but you are going to be healed okay and this is you coming out full of love full of creativity you could have been going through some type of creativity creativity block because of the people you had around you. You are someone that's naturally abundant, naturally gifted, very uh, intuitive, very uh, uh, psychic and things like that. You are someone that's a dreamer. So things are revealed to you in dreams and stuff like that. But you haven't really been able to uh, embrace that aspect of you because people have been doing magic on you behind the scenes for a long time to block that side of you because they wanted you in this fixed mindset where you just the well all way of doing things is the right way it's the only way to do things right but no it's not there's a reason why there are multiple cultures on the planet multiple continents um lots of different you know colors of people i mean just walk outside you'll see different people depending on where you live this is why i cannot live where there's only one color of people i don't care if it's just black or white people i need it to be a diverse group of people now we all have our kitchen table talk where we say look at them white folks or look on look at them black folks but at the end of the day i need to be in a community where i can see people of different ethnic backgrounds and things like that right if i go to the market let's say i go to schnooks i want to be able to see my mexicans in there i want to see my asians i want to see my blacks i want to see my whites i want to see everybody i don't just want to see you know whites everywhere i don't want to see blacks everywhere i want a mixture it's very imperative but when you're in these types of communities oftentimes they will seclude you from other communities and tell you well our community is the only one that you need to be paying attention to right those people don't like us meanwhile you've never really even interacted with those people there that's just something your community is telling you because they've been living like that for a long time and they've passed on this unhealthy mindset to you right even i here I'm very open-minded to different cultures, but I still have kitchen table talk. And I've had someone record it and try to make it seem like I was saying something that I was not, right? But whoever I'm talking about in the in uh, in a recording, if they were sitting across from me, I'm still gonna say the same thing. I'm like, you white folks do this, and if it's a black person, uh, black people be doing too much sometimes. Like I'm going to say the same thing that I said in a recording. I've had someone do that, like I'm saying something and they try to take it out of context to go tell people that. And I was like, just waiting for someone to come to me and ask me, this is how you think, oh, why did you say that? No one ever did, but I was waiting, you know? I, like I'm very like just straightforward with what I have to say. I'm not beating around the bush. If I don't like you, I don't force anything with you. If I like you, you'll know. I don't force it either. You'll know what I have to say is what I've said. If I think like a Caucasian is being weird, you're being weird. If a black person is being weird, they're being weird. If I feel like a Caucasian person has an unhealthy mindset when it comes to this, I'm going to say that. And if you want to record it and go tell people that's your business, I don't care. When they come to me, I'm going to say, yeah, that's what I said. This is why I said it. This is how I said it. Okay? But... These types of communities can be unhealthy because these are people with fixed mindset. The higher fin are usually people in the upright, but their mindset is very fixed. A lot of the time, there's no in-between and things of that nature. They're just like very either wild on the right side or wild on the dark side, right? So you have to be careful and you're showing up here with the higher fin. That means you're someone very religious and it's been blocking you in life in some way shape or form and you were not aware but the people around you they're aware your parents your community leaders things of that nature they know they know it's been blocking you but they're so comfortable with the way things have been going and they're so afraid of change that they have been forcing this on you so that things do not change and a lot of people from certain generations they are like that they fear change and this is because of the era that they come from things were uncertain 
You didn't know when your next meal was coming in. You didn't know who had some type of ulterior motive for you around the corner. You didn't know who was going to jump you, steal all of your money uh, from you. Like you're walking around with $5 in your pocket and then someone comes and steal it. They had a, a, a era where things were just uncertain for them, especially people that lived through the Great Depression. They have a fixed mindset. And this is because they lived in fear of uncertainty. Where were food, where, where were where was their food gonna come from? Where was money gonna come from? Where were they gonna lay their hair? And so because they found themselves in these desperate situations, they made choices that were unhealthy for them. But as they got older, they didn't do anything to change those mindsets. They held on to it. This is why a lot of people from that era have loyalty to people they should not have loyalty to. They don't know the very people they're loyal to is betraying them or or are betraying them behind the scenes, but they're loyal to them, okay? You're sailing onto calmer waters. You are healed. Do you see this here? Your healing is ensured. You are absolutely healed, right? Be uh, absolutely mindful with who you're sharing information with. I don't know why there was just like a stagnation there really uh briefly but just be mindful everything you're going through this healing process is going to help you take charge of your life as well there's something here that i'm hearing that for someone out there a masculine there's a son that you have that is not yours like the woman you are with had a son by someone else but she's been telling you that the child is yours or there's some type of pregnancy and you're not responsible for the pregnancy because this woman was laying with the both of you and this child belongs to the other person. So when the child is born or whether this child is already here, take them for a DNA test. Don't let someone just put you on child support. Take them for a DNA test. Or if the court tells you that you need to show up for a DNA test, show up for the DNA test. But there's a child here that a woman had with another masculine and she's hiding that. Okay. And I don't, and I'm hearing also that's a masculine where you know that a child is not yours, but you choose to step up to the plate because you bonded with the child, right? Which is a beautiful thing, but be cautious, be careful. I'm telling you the truth. Be cautious, be careful. Like you've raised this child as your own and you're disappointed that uh, um, it's turning out to not be yours. And that's a really hard place to be. You, you, might, you may have trusted this woman and everything and it's turning out that this is not someone you could trust. So I'm sorry for what you're going through. But I'm also hearing that there's something in you that knew that the child was not yours for a long time, but you chose to stay. Okay, so we have also a King of Swords out here that wants to take action. Uh, someone thinks that you two have some type of soul, soul twin connection. Anyways, we're going to stick with this uh, 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 King of Cups because you need clarity in your situation. All of this tumultuous madness you've been going through with these people, it led to a healing for you and it led to you taking charge of your life and which is what you needed to do. You learn to lay down the law in your life, be the authority figure that you needed to be so that you could take the right action. You could go for whatever it is that you wanted to go for, right? And become this higher version of yourself, this best version of yourself. Okay, so you do have a soul twin connection with this person. You two will be very abundant together, sharing blades together and things of that nature. You're going to help this woman in some way come out of some type of setback in life. It's like someone went from, an, and I'm not talking about the woman that you are leaving, whoever you are trying to connect to. The, your your connection with them is going to heal something in her life and it's going to heal something in your life. There's some type of uh, 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 like that this person has as well, just like you have some type of like, but you two are going to balance each other out. Hers will have to do with finances and things of that nature and yours can have to do with your mental. So someone is going to help you balance your mental out. Maybe even explain spirituality to you or explain something to you that you are clouded about. There's not, I'm hearing something about religion. You have some type of false uh, belief about religion. Your concept of God is not healthy. So you're going from a fixed mindset, as you can see here, to being open mindset, to being guided by the cosmos, right? 
So it has a lot to do with your mindset and how you perceive the world, the people around you, religious leaders, uh, God, right? You're about to be free. You're stuck right now. You're about to be free, which is absolutely beautiful, okay? And I used to be this too. Lord have mercy. I grew up in a religious household. We went to church every Sunday, every Sunday. We never missed a Sunday. You were never too sick to go to church. Kind of like my mom, you were never too sick to go to school. We were never too sick to go to church. You never missed a day of church. When I got older, I passed on that same mindset to my children for a specific amount of time. We went to church on Sunday, had Bible study on Friday, uh, uh, Saturday. We had uh, church meetings. Like We were religious. I got baptized. My children got baptized. Everything you can think of. Uh, 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 youth quick. Just everything you can think of, right? I used to read my Bible twice a day, morning and night before I went to, went to bed. And, you know, I went through some type of rude awakening that just opened my eyes to a whole different side of life. And I will never go back to this. I'm free. I am is free. I'm free. Okay? This is going to be you. You see this child on here? You're about to be embracing your inner child. I don't know if you all can see this card. But you are about to be embracing your inner child. Right? Your pureness truth living in truth living in abundance being supported and guided by the universe by the cosmos you could be like a star seed child as well right something about a child child keeps coming up a lot there is something definitely about a child right um but you're about to be living free you're freeing yourself from a paradigm that's just not healthy right and you're going to sit back one day and look at what life used to be like for you. And you're going to say, I am so glad that I took a chance and walked away, formed a new path, right? You're going to be grateful some someday for the choice that you're making to move forward and not hold yourself back because you want to make people happy. And that's, that comes to that, your mind thing. You have loyalty to people that you're not supposed to be loyal to. They're not loyal to you. They've been stealing from you for years. You're basically surrounded by wolves. But let's keep this message in a positive energy and keep it pushing. Okay? So you're taking authority of your life. You're going for it. Right? You're going for this union. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. I am going for it. No one is holding me back anymore. I am tired of all of these people telling me what to do, manipulating me, playing with my minds, keeping me stuck, blocking my future and things of that nature because that's absolutely what they've been doing. And you say, I'm going for it. So you're taking action to bring this union together and it's going to be something that's good. You two are going to be very abundant together. You're going to be best of friends together. You may end up inviting this person to some type of uh, 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 um event or something or you two are just going to be abundant together you're going to be sharing your wealth whether it's spiritual emotional mental uh material wealth you two will be living very blissfully and happily together okay someone is going to help balance you out and you're going to help them be balanced out as well someone has whoever you're going to has a very free mindset like they're very open-minded like this person can see like a man walking down the street in like a pink tutu and it'll just be like oh that looks good on them or that's a good color for their skin like someone does not care about what other people are doing because they know people are supposed to do what makes them happy okay but you have been being manipulated and the fact that you're changing that and taking charge of your life this is where it's headed for you this is where it's headed for you. You're putting an end to the past, putting an end to whoever this is that's been bribing people or this community has been bribing people to interfere with your life. All of that is done. All of that is done. You're moving forward with your life. You're healing. You're uh, about, to be, about to be like flourishing in life. You're going to be pouring into yourself like you're supposed to, like you should have been right? And this is going to help you stay balanced in life. 
take authority. You're going, for, you're going to start taking action on the things that matter to you, what you want to do. You're going to take limitations, remove limitations, limiting mindsets, limiting beliefs. You're going to let go of those, right? And you're going to be manifesting some type of new reality with your partner, whether it's a business partner or romantic partner, you two will be manifesting some type of new reality, creating a whole new life that's going to be abundant. And this is a union that's, su that's supported by the cosmos. This is you or you, you and your partner working together. This is the, the universe supporting the both of you. It's that, yes, finally. It only took him like 10,000 years to get this right. Finally. Lots of opportunities between the both of you. No more illusions, right? People, are, when this is going on, people are going to want to come in and cause temptation. This woman could end up coming back trying to get you to go backwards in life and things like that. That, But the universe is bringing you a, a lot of like opportunities and things of that nature. You're going to have a lot to choose from and you're being warned to choose carefully. That whatever path you're taking is leading to abundance for you. And while you two are elevating in life, prospering, the people that are causing illusions and things like that, questions are being asked. There's some type of investigation going on or will be going on. Absolutely. There is going to be an investigation going on. Everyone will have to answer for the actions they took. People think that people don't know, that no one knows what they've been doing, but they absolutely do. Your enemies are going to be like being left out in the cold while you two are prospering in life. Someone has a lot of questions to answer. They don't want to answer keeping their distance and things of that nature. They don't want to answer, but they have to. You're being advised to keep your distance from these people. Keep your distance from these people. Like source is interfering to block someone from coming in to cause some type of illusion either to you or to whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with. Someone out of the illusions they were causing, it's been found out. And you're being protected. You're being told to protect yourself because you're going through a healing. <clears throat> and if these people keep coming in your energy, it's going to cause a relapse. And maybe this is something you've been struggling with for a long time. Relapsing. Like one month you are determined to push forward, move on with your life. And then all of a sudden you run into your ex and it's all planned. Or someone needs you for something and you go to help them. Now you're back into that old paradigm. You've been relapsing a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> You've been relapsing a lot. But not anymore. And it, it <laughs> what I'm seeing is that this all had to do with some with people blocking you from making some type of offer to someone else committing to someone else like they want you to stay in a either a coat or coven maybe you don't know you're in a coat or a coven to just stay with who you've been with this karmic and people are being questioned on things that they were doing or this is what's coming up okay it's like they've been wanting you to feel defensive and things like that. But you may be even now like protecting some type of offer you want to give to someone. There's a meeting going on as well to either protect an offer. There's something going on. I'm not clear about that one. A whole lot going on and this offer is going gonna, is gonna to lead to marriage there's something i'm not clear on and i'm trying to get clarity on it are you is there a masculine around you a masculine around you that's interested in the person you're interested in 
or they don't want you with that person so they want to come in and make an offer to that person it's that maybe they want to marry who you want to marry or someone is sending they're sending someone to the person you're interested in so they can cause illusions hmm Yeah, there's something here about a competition and it's not like a genuine competition. It's something where there there's a masculine around you that's trying to block you and this person from coming together. So they may try to either beat you to beat you to the track or something. It's it I don't I don't know. I don't know about this one. And it's, maybe it's all to cause deception. He, I'm guessing like he wants to come in, play the twin flame thing, play to be a higher level soulmate or something of that nature to mislead this person and hopefully, hoping that this person ends up marrying them. And this is something that was calculated. This was planned. This is not accidental. This is not something that was accidental, right? But there's most definitely some type of, there's some type of investigation that's either going on or is going to be going on. Because people don't think that the actions they took behind the scenes were known but people know. Now they're trying to separate themselves from this group. They're trying to separate themselves from this group. Right? So it can look like they had nothing to do with it. They were not involved. Something has been exposed. Something has been illuminated. So members of this group are trying to separate themselves from all, everything they did. They've been committed for a long time. Someone may have paid, like this person here, whoever this is. This is either your ex, this is either your best friend, your mother, your father, someone. They paid a couple to take some type of action towards a queen, queen of swords or with a queen of swords. I want clarity on this. This is going to drive me nuts because like the story, something is going on here. person the for something to be done to a queen of swords to like break her heart destroy her either on like i just heard something about on aliving to like destroy someone so they wouldn't be able to move forward anymore but the plan was interfered with it was divine intervention so someone whoever this queen of swords is and i'm guessing that's who you are wanting to go towards they're not going to be ended on, uh, they're not experiencing any type of ending by the hands of these people. So there was absolutely a plan. It was like, hey, let's do this. Like these people meet up. Maybe you're not even aware. They meet up. They meet up. And the plan is either exposed, these people are exposed or something. And now they're trying to keep their distance and act like they don't all know each other. They weren't all planning. They didn't have ulterior motives to end someone. They didn't like pay a couple to come in and do something to someone, do someone something, right? And it was all calculated. It was all calculated. They didn't want this woman having a new beginning. They didn't want her having a new beginning. They didn't want you having emotions for this person. They didn't want this person having emotions for you. This person possibly may not have been aware of you. But whatever betrayal they were trying to carry out is not going to be happening. There was divine intervention. It says someone may have taken some type of drastic action that led to this plan becoming a flop. 
Ah, oh, they were trying to interfere with this person's work. Like someone was trying to steal someone's work or block someone's work, destroy someone's work, interfere with their commitments and things of that nature, their focus. Someone was playing a lot of mental magic, using a lot of mental magic, but it's something that, like this last plan that they had, it was something that was supposed to be physical. Like someone was supposed to go in and do something physical to a feminine energy, but there was divine intervention. They were like, well, if I can trick you into falling in love with me and things like that, then I'm gonna have to, you know, unalive you. If we can't bribe, if we can't uh, bribe you to not get with this person, we're gonna have to unalive you. This was a plan by a group of people. If we can't break your mental, we're gonna have to. I'm telling you. Yeah, absolutely. They could not trap this person. They realized they couldn't trap this person. Someone does not want anything to do with this group because they know their future is bright. They were wanting to come in and get this person trapped in something. It's not happening. Like they wanted someone working for the dark side. It's not happening because this is not someone from the dark side. While they're trying to keep you in darkness, they're trying to recruit this person in darkness. But whoever they're coming for is not of the dark. This is not someone of the dark. That's why I'm like, wait, something is not adding up. Like from here, I, I got lost. I'm like, wait, hold up. Hold up. That's what it is. There was or there is going to be divine intervention to block some type of illusion, right? They were want <clears throat> they don't want me to see the plant. They were wanting to come in to give a feminine energy some type of offer. A lot of different offers for some of you. They were gonna make it look really appealing and things of that th things of that nature. Like it was going to be offers that you just could not afford to turn down. It was going to trap you. And you were, for some of you, you're going to end up being held accountable for things you had nothing to do with. It's like these people are taking actions, illegal actions against you, but setting it up in a way where it makes it look like you were doing something illegal yourself, but you didn't, right? So they got really desperate. They got desperate and they went and paid to have a couple either do something to you, interfere with your new beginning, your forward movement, you're supposed to receive some type of either opportunity in love and things like that. Either someone you work with, they wanted someone betraying you as well. It's a whole lot of different scenarios for some, for all of you. But you were supposed to be betrayed in the worst way possible, right? And they were going to do this in a way where you were going to be brokenhearted and felt defeated. And then you were going, they were going to come in, give you this delusional offer, which will have trapped you with them. You will be working for the enemy, but that's not happening. You, the masculine, you free, you're freeing yourself from this group, or you've already done that. And this person, whoever this is, is not partaking in that they will not be working with this group this is very toxic so this means that you all are serving two masters you're serving two masters you're one thing publicly and you're something else behind closed doors and what you are being seen as behind closed doors is not something healthy Someone may have lied as well and said that whoever you're going to has a lot of toxic ways and things like that. They don't. You see the devil is in the reverse. Someone does not have toxic ways and I don't even think they ever did. Someone is focused on work. Someone is focused on their pentacles, commitments, right? Improving themselves, mastering their crafts and things of that nature. They're not toxic at all, at all. But someone clouded or a group of people clouded your judgment about this person and you believed what they said. So someone is someone is free to be them and you are freeing yourself to be you. It's what I'm getting. And they're heartbroken about this. Nine of Swords. The whole group, the person you're leaving, they're heartbroken about this because the truth has been illuminated to you. Okay?
Yeah, they were working overtime. These people have been working overtime, bending back, bending backwards, just to block a union from coming together. Lord, that when this car came out, I said, wait, hold on, hold on, ancestors. This is taking a different turn. Okay. Yeah, I told you, you have a fresh, a new beginning ahead of you. This woman has a new start. New beginnings, new opportunities. Something's going to be presented to her or to you. But new beginning, like step out on faith. You're going to be like a business mogul or very successful in life. So this is why your people are trying to hold on to you or whoever that is from your past is trying to hold on to you. They didn't want you to see that you had this new life ahead of you. That if you leave them behind, your future is bright. Lord have mercy. So I think I'm going to possibly go back to the other deck of cards. Because I think you all have a hard time seeing these. I don't know if you care about seeing the cards or you just want the message. Okay, source, what is your message? What is your advice? Lord Jesus. <laughs> completion. We have 19, which is completion. Something is done. Something is done. It says, independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big, big risks to achieve the life you desire. I am a pioneer and this is what we ended up on. This is a pioneer and this car comes out. I hope this solidifies this message to you, sir, that needs to step out, take charge of your life. You're, you, may be, you may end up being some type of inventor and it's going to be very successful for you and this person you two may create something new that people have never done before you're going to be manifesting some type of new reality together okay i swear when you sit down to do your reads that's when the the the, the lawn mower starts people are going to the bathrooms doors are being shut and stuff they say you know thanks for the background noise as always anyways thank you all for watching stay blessed goodbye for now